Pedro, what's your initial reaction to that defeat today? Uh, the only thing that I can tell you is that I'm the main responsible mm -hmm. for this defeat today. I think all the all the players try to do their best. I mean, starting the game with five minutes with a penalty and losing it changed a lot of things that we work for. So the second goal also v too early on the match keep changing those things. But anyhow, I'm the main responsible because the players try to to give their very best and uh, and we couldn't do it. You say you're responsible. So what do you think you did wrong today? It's not a question of being doing wrong or, mm -hmm. or doing on the right direction. It's being responsible because I'm the one that uh, leads with the players. I'm, I'm leading on one direction and the, thing, the things didn't work. And when the things didn't work, I'm the main responsible. So what did you want your players to do today that perhaps they didn't do? No, it's, it's, dif it's difficult to say if, if we concede one goal too early on the match and the mm -hmm. second one also too early on the match. And all the time, do you lose one ball for in transition for the for the opponent? The opponent were getting on your on your on your box and scoring goals. But um, beside that, I'm proud about the players that try to do their very best. But the things didn't work, and when the things didn't work, not only today but all the time, mm -hmm. I assume the responsibility. Did you believe this Rangers side was good enough to win today? I believe uh, that uh, Rangers side needs a lot of work mm -hmm. and a lot of changes in order to to balance the power between the two teams that we're facing here today. And that's what we are we are assessing, but we need to take decisions um, as soon as possible mm -hmm. regarding to to keep this distance not on the on, on the far way that, mm -hmm. that it is now, but getting closer. You because you really feel it. Is that you saying that you'd like to make big changes in the summer? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Do you have a message for the fans who have perhaps felt let down today? I have a message for the fans that uh, they need to be proud about this club. It's mm -hmm. the only club in the world. It's the most successful club in the world, first of all. It's the only club in the, in the history of football that in five years' time is on the third division mm -hmm. and now gets again fighting for the, the top positions on the league. And they can trust that this club is going to be big again. And we need them all the time. Do you sense that your players' confidence is low, that some of them have perhaps very, very low confidence? No, it's not a question of that. I assume all the responsibilities and maybe in some sort of moments I'm also responsible for that because I'm a, a very demanding guy, I'm a very positive guy and uh, sometimes they can cope with that or not. How do you put your team up now going forward into the kind of final few games? No, let, let's give them to be calm down now and we have those uh, last four games and we will have time to, to take the, t the team from the moment that, uh, that they are now looking, looking forward for the next game, which is going to be important mm -hmm. to face and, uh, and get over this moment. Is the dressing room being quite heated after the game? Of course, of course it is. Of course it is. They was they were heated on Sunday. Now, the, the the Saturday after that, they are heated again. Of mm -hmm. course they are. But football is made of this. Sometimes uh, you need to understand that these things may happen, and you need to be ready and prepare to keep going and to, to keep thinking positive regarding to the future.